YouTube. This is my 39 week and three day pregnant belly. And I think this is actually my last belly shot. Woo, there she is. <laughs> hey guys, I'm Anna here. I'm just here to do sort of my last <coughs> pregnancy update uh, before baby girl arrives. So let's hop into it. Um, the reason why this is my last one is my mother-in-law is coming to visit for two weeks starting tomorrow. <clears throat> so I really won't have much chances to vlog um, at all while she's here. I'll try to get some footage, but I kind of doubt that I will get a ton of recording done. So we'll see if I make it to 40 weeks. But I'll call this my 40 week update. <laughs> so far I've felt insanely nauseous for the last two days. <clears throat> Usually like in the beginning of my pregnancy I felt nauseous when I was hungry and it feels like that always. <clears throat> so that's a bit weird. <clears throat> Excuse me. But um, yeah so I'm just I'm feeling nauseous almost all the time, um, like my stomach is sort of upset, like I want to puke. Um, I also have been getting a lot of contractions, like an insane amount of contractions. Um, and they feel concentrated on my lower bits. And it sort of feels like, for me, whenever I get a pap smear and they sort of swab my cervix, I kind of cramp and it also makes me feel like I'm going to throw up. So it feels like that um, right now. <laughs> and every time I have a contraction, just nauseated, but I could tell it's coming from my cervix, which, um, which kind of makes sense because I have had a crazy amount of discharge and I know that is TMI <laughs> but I started wearing panty liners because I just felt like there was a lot of discharge and um, then today it's like it's insane <laughs> the amount of discharge um, almost like kind of gelatinous um, egg white but not as stretchy so kind of like sticky but clear um, and a lot of it. Um, and I usually don't get like a ton of cervical mucus like at all. Um, when I'm fertile and I'm, we were trying to conceive, it would be like maybe one trip to the bathroom I would wipe and be like, oh, that's, you know, cervical mucus. Um, but today, there is a lot, and it's um, it's kind of clear-ish, yellowish, um, no blood, so I don't think it's bloody show yet. Woo, I'm having another contraction. Um, <laughs> so, tons of contractions, cervical mucus, yeah. My insomnia has been also out of control. From about 2 a.m. to about 7.30 a.m., I'm getting no sleep whatsoever, which is terrible. So um, three nights ago, that started. Last night, I actually slept decently. <laughs> I still got up a bunch to go to the bathroom, and I it's sort of the kiss of death if I have to go to the bathroom between 2 a.m. and 3 a.m., because if I glance at the clock and I see that number like all bets are off. I'm usually just tossing and turning and not not able to fall asleep at all. <clears throat> Ooh, I need to get on my yoga ball. So after I'm filming this, I'm going to go do some relaxation techniques and get on my yoga ball and move around. Because <laughs> these contractions are getting a little painful. So I don't think I'm going to make it to 40 weeks. <laughs> um, 
I also, since baby has been breech, uh, my husband has been helping me get into all these inversion uh, techniques and I have about um, an eight inch stool under my foot right now and I put this gigantic pillow over it and then it sort of sits in the small of my back and I prop up my hips and I, I lay backwards on it. And so I've been doing that. I, I did that twice a day for a week or so. Well, longer than a week, but um, really diligently. Like, my husband took off part of his morning to help me get into that position um, from work. And, yeah, so we were diligently doing this inversion technique. And my back started spasming. My neck started spasming. It was just, like, too much weight because I'm so far along. So, um, I had to quit doing that inversion technique, so I've been, and then I was doing the hands and knees and on my elbows, um, inversion. Oh, I feel really nauseous right now. <laughs> Whew. And, um, the weight, and my husband would rub my back because my back was hurting pretty bad, and, um, the pressure just the weight of the belly and the pressure that he was helping me out with was really causing my knees to sort of, well, they bruised and they felt like, like especially my left knee, was on fire. It like hurt really bad afterwards. So I'm trying to take it easy. I'm really trying to just relax and let nature take over. And that's what I've been doing this past week. Just letting go and accepting that I might have a c-section and I might go into labor naturally which I kind of feel like I am <laughs> right now <clears throat> I filmed some updates for you guys saying I either went into labor naturally and I'm going to the hospital or I'm going to my planned c-section <clears throat> so depending on how this plays out I will upload that video for you guys um, just to let you know my YouTube community um, what's going on with me. Whew. Instagram I will probably update a lot more frequently. Um, yeah, so that's my plan. Um, I also forgot to tell you guys that in my last ultrasound, I didn't show you any pictures because I mean there was just like one cute picture and I should probably get it for you guys. but. Um, <clears throat> it was of her, her nose and her lips, and her lips are just so pouty and adorable. Um, and then she has my chin. She has, like, this big chin that's sticking out, and I love it. It's just so cute. <laughs> so, that was a cute ultrasound picture. Whew. But the ultrasound tech said that, um... She estimates that she weighs about 18, I'm sorry, she weighs about 8 pounds, 5 ounces, um, and she's 18.8 inches long. And I think last time they estimated she was 19.5 inches long, so I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what's going on there, but she also said that ultrasounds this late in pregnancy are so variable. There's a pound difference that could be going on. So I could have a nine pound baby or a seven pound baby. And so I, that's sort of my, my view on it is <clears throat> I'm going to have a normal size baby between seven and nine pounds. And, um, and I think she might be a little on the short side. <laughs> so I think she got like my legs cause I have really short legs. Um, but I have, like, a long torso, so, so, yeah. Anyway, um, so I think she's a little on the short side. Um, we'll see. I don't know. Oh, so, there is my update for 40 weeks-ish, 39 and a half weeks. I will let you guys know, and I will document my labor progression if um, <clears throat> I need to start timing these contractions that I've been having right now, contraction free, so I'm happy. Not uncomfortable at all. <laughs> but I'm going to start timing these contractions and I will get on my little um, camera and, and update you guys. Whew. Okay, that was a long, exhausting. <laughs>
update. I will see you guys later. Bye.